Turning to the other big news in this country, Western Canada remains locked in a deep freeze heading into the new year. In some parts of the prairies, it's so cold it feels like minus 50 with the wind chill. Meanwhile, the West Coast is also struggling with frigid temperatures. Vancouver hit a daytime low of minus 15 on Monday. That breaks a 52-year-old record. And as CBC's Anita Bath now tells us, the extreme weather has put some of the region's most vulnerable people at risk. The freezing temperatures in Abbotsford are more than uncomfortable for Jason Taylor. Like just the wind gusts were crazy. Um, like, like my tent almost blew away on how many times, so I, I anchored that right down. He's choosing to stay outside during this cold snap, worried his belongings will be stolen in a shelter. But for those around him who do want housing, there isn't enough. Shivering under blankets, sleeping under piles of blankets covered in snow. Pastor Ward Draper estimates at least 350 people are sleeping outside this week. Yeah, but that's just Abbotsford. How many in Vancouver? How many thousands in Vancouver? How many hundreds or if not thousands in Surrey, Burnaby, New West, Mission, Chilliwack? And while the province has increased extreme weather shelter spaces by 25 percent, far more is needed. And frostbite is becoming a big concern. With temperatures this cool, exposed skin can easily freeze. And there are other dangers too. Frostbite, pneumonia, hypothermia, those are dangerous. They're very real. Um, but there's also the danger of folks who might be scared or unable to enter a shelter trying to warm up their tents themselves and having to choose between possibly freezing to death or putting themselves into a life-threatening situation. There's also COVID and the toxic drug crisis. So this weather is only adding to concern there is not enough housing. People who are experiencing homelessness, people who are in poverty, people who have substance use disorder, they just can't catch a break right now. A sentiment echoed by Draper, who says watching things get worse and worse for the people he's trying to help is disheartening. We need help today. We need help yesterday. We need homes. We need supports, right? And we need it immediately. That's it. I'm just... I'm tired. My friends outside are tired. And while there have been no reported deaths yet, advocates say it will be a miracle if everyone comes out of this extreme weather alive. Anita Bath, CBC News, Abbotsford.